Hi guys, well I'm back again. My name's Dan and I work at Picture This and I've been a photographer for over 10 years and I've shot everything from weddings to portraits to events to macro to stock photography, just to name a few. But today we're gonna to be talking about stock photography in general. If you've missed my first video, um, I'm gonna pop the link down below um, or I'll pop it up here somewhere. And basically that, that's the beginner's guide really to stock photography and, and what, things to consider before even getting into the market. But if you, if you are a stock photographer and you want to improve on your skills, stick with me. Um, if you enjoyed the content, hit that like and subscribe. Um, I'm quite a new channel. What I've noticed over the last couple of videos is people are watching, but nobody's subscribing. So show some love, guys and girls. Uh, but on that note, I'm going to be jumping from here. I'm going to be jumping straight onto the computer to show you a bit more. Well, thanks for sticking with me, guys. Uh, well, today I've got 10 images to show you, and all different, and all different for varying reasons. But the first image I'm going to show you today is the picture of the Labrador. Uh, why have I chosen this picture? Uh, it's a great stock image. There's no copy space here, basically, but you could obviously put something in there if need be. But the, the main focus is on the Labrador. Now, both vets have had their heads chopped off in this image uh, for varying reasons, but we wouldn't need a model release for this particular image because the two vets can't be identified in the image. Now, this particular post will actually be, you, you can actually find this image probably somewhere like uh, healthcare leaflets or on posters in a vets or even trying to sell um, like pet insurance. So uh, the main focus is on the dog. Now the image has obviously been captured on something like a 50 mil lens and basically just to keep the, the main focus on the dog and it's given a beautiful depth of field. So always consider basically shooting your pets basically wherever and whenever you can. Um, if you're shooting in a vet, basically you may need to ask permission before going ahead and taking photos of the vet uh, with or without his permission would be a little bit naughty, but um, I think literally it's, yeah, it's a great shot. Uh, but yeah, moving on. Well, image number two, we've got a great selection of food here. Um, now, this is obviously an image which you'd probably find somewhere like a, a, a restaurant or a food magazine, or even possibly a, a restaurant kind of a restaurant menu. So it's, it just portrays basically people sharing and enjoying food. Now, this could be quite easily taken over a Thanksgiving dinner or a Christmas dinner, or even a family get together, but not at the moment because we're all in lockdown due to the pandemic. But, um, but yeah, it's going to say this is quite an e easy photo to take. Quick snap over the top of the table with a mobile phone, people enjoying and sharing food. But again, these images do very, very well. And they, they are bought quite often by obviously restaurateurs, hotels, and obviously magazine and advertisers and marketers. So um, yeah, keep snapping guys, but I'm going to move on to the third image. Now looking at image three here, basically, we've got this gentleman uh, using technology, using his laptop and a graphics tablet. Maybe he's a designer, maybe he's a graphic designer. But these images are obviously portraying him using technology. So this could be used anywhere from an electronic store. It could be used on somebody's website or even on graphic material. Uh, so stuff like, um, like leaflets and flyers just to portray the, the, the image of pe people using technology. But these images do sell very well. I don't know whether you need a model release for this gentleman because you can't actually work out obviously who it is, but it's, it's basically down to the stock agency. If they have a problem with it, um, they can reject it and ask you to re-upload it with a with model release. But personally, I don't think you'd need one obviously because he's not actually in shot. Um, but again, these images do very well. I'm moving on to image number four. We've got a couple of doctors here. Could be, could be a couple of nurses, could be a couple of dentists, who knows? But I think the giveaway is the stethoscope around their necks. But this obviously portrays basically teamwork in the medical field. So this image could be used anywhere from a medical leaflet down to health insurance, life insurance. You could even see this in the hospital. So again, if these two doctors here have obviously had their heads cut off again. So again, you probably won't need a model release for this particular image. But again, if you're gonna be shooting in somewhere like a hospital, please, please ensure that you get permission from obviously the doctors or the nurses and possibly the establishment of where you're shooting. Otherwise they can turn around and ask you to leave. And if not, basically they could possibly even phone the police. So um, please, please be careful about shooting in places like hospitals. Well, looking at this next image, we've got a basically, it's, it's a background. So this could be used in anywhere from a fashion store down to a, a men's kind of men's magazine. So it's portraying basically men's style. Uh, there's not much copy space in here, but again, it doesn't necessarily need copy space. It could be just used for a block on the right here with a bit of text. And it just basically portray, portrays gentlemen's fashion, I suppose. Um, but yeah, these can be found in stuff like stores, on, on clothing websites, etc. So again, these, these pictures are, are pretty much put together by, by, the, by the stock photographers. So they, they, they do use a wooden background or wooden, wooden paper, and they actually take, take the items and build the picture together. So um, 
These are obviously put together by professional stock photographers, um, but again, these sell very well. Now, some backgrounds do better than this. Um, they could be just a plain background, a wooden background with nothing on it. And it, it, gives, it gives the advertiser or the publisher basically all the space they want to put anything on there. So um, yeah, have a mess around, be creative and see what you can come up with. Now moving on to the next image, we've got the little frog here. I think he's a, is he one of the poisonous frogs? I don't know. But, um, but yeah, he's looking dead straight into copy space. So again, this could be used for a logo, this could be used for copy space, uh, for text, for all sorts of different, well, I was gonna say, where would it be used? Uh, this probably be used in a nature magazine. So stuff like Gardener's World, or basically about landscape photography. So yeah, there could be lots of different places this image could end up. But have you ever been to a restaurant before and you've seen pictures of, of wildlife on the walls? Because I have, you know, it's, and usually there's something in the image as well. So it could be something like a menu, it could be anything in there. So, uh, but yeah, uh, this has been shot with probably a 70 by 200 lens, possibly even a 300, because it's got beautiful depth of field. Um, you can't really see much in the background, but keeping the frog in focus, it's a great image, great stock image. But again, it's gonna say experiment and be creative. Moving, moving on to this image. Well, this is concept, concept uh, stock images, basically. So these are put together by designers and illustrators and graphic designers, etc. So it's quite a simple kind of idea. Um, I say idea with a bulb, but um, again, I did not design or take any of these photos, but these images do very well. Uh, as the, it, it, these could be used on any, any form of kind of merchandise, advertising, marketing, websites. These, these images could end up anywhere. Um, they could, they're usually used to fill space up, as there's no copy space, but they're, again, they're used as a bit of a, a distraction on a magazine. But uh, great idea, do very well in sales. Well, moving on to this image here with this gentleman and this lady here, we probably are gonna need a model release for this image, obviously, because they're both quite distinctive, especially the gentleman. Um, now, the, these images can end up anywhere from business meetings to obviously, um, this, this image actually, actually displays meeting up, having a coffee meeting, uh, possibly business, uh, it could be for marketing. So this image could be anywhere really. So from anywhere from a business magazine to a business website, marketing and advertising. So every image tells a thousand stories. So basically we need to look at each image and literally based on its own merit. But again, really nice, really nice image, nice and bright. Uh, but again, no copy, sp no copy space, but again, it could be used in a, in a variety of different places. Moving on to the last image I've got here is obviously of the healthcare, and this is a great image. And um, yeah, we've got the techograph, I think that's what you call it. I think we call it an ECG in, in the UK, testing the heart, isn't it? But uh, anyway, moving on, look at the image. This is a great image. It talks, about, well, the image is talking about healthcare, and basically there's enough room for a logo or text. So, and this nurse here, obviously, just displaying obviously the healthcare side of it. But uh, again, this image could be taken with her on the left, with her on the right, with her in the middle, and leaving space either side. So yeah, I was gonna say, these images sell very, very well. Well, I hope that's been some use to you guys. Um, well, I've been shooting stock photography for around about five or six years, and I've only beginning to understand the market, but I've been shooting photography for over 10 years, I've been doing weddings and events and portraits and pets and macro and long exposure, etc. So I've been shooting lots of different formats, but I'll be, I'll be teaching lots of people the different skills and the different techniques that I've picked up over the 10 years of being a photographer. But if it's been any use and you've learned anything from this video, hit that like and hit that subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be informed of every time I upload a new video. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. I hope it's been some use, but uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.